One year ago, I uploaded a video where I went through the whole entirety of my trophy list, which spanned across 10 years. And I thought with another year passing, I would show you how much has changed and basically how my gaming style has changed as well. If you watched the last video, you would have seen that I'd play a game for an hour or two, earn a trophy or two, and if I wasn't really enjoying it, I would move on. Now, don't get me wrong, if I play a game and I don't enjoy it still, I will move on, but I am more likely to finish a game rather than just complete the story and that be that. So, carrying on from the exact moment that I left the last video, I was here and I was holding off showing the next platinum because I was adamant that it was going to be make or break this next platinum because I was making a video on it and truth be told it wouldn't have made a difference even if the video fell flat but it actually did perform quite well so first one one piece odyssey what an absolute amazing game fantastic turn-based jrpg however you want to call it just an absolute banger of a game. I've never seen the anime, and this game almost made me watch it. The only reason why I didn't was because of like hundreds and hundreds of episodes. I, I haven't got the time to get into that. Um, then I played Fist Forged in Shadow Torch. I enjoyed it for the first hour or two. It just got a bit boring. Hot Wheels Unleashed. This was one that I did plan on chipping away at slowly. Again, I got bored of it. <coughs> Payday 3, I brought this on launch day and we all know how much of a, a disaster that was. Bright Memory Infinite, I made a video on this on the channel. This was a absolutely fantastic first person shooter with hack and slash uh, abilities in it as well. It was made by a single developer and honestly you should check it out. It was an absolute amazing experience and it blew some AAA studios out the water. Seriously, it really did. The next one I went for was Cry Machina. I have got the footage for this. I want to make a video on it, but it's been that long now that I actually can't remember much about the story. I'd have to look through the probably 50 hours of footage and try and like you know remember exactly what was going on. It's a brilliant game. The story isn't the greatest, but it's good enough to keep you... Uh, interested the the hack and slash style is amazing it looks fantastic it can get a little bit repetitive though titanfall 2 i did give it a shot i i think i, I earned two trophies since the last video and this one on this um i, I just the gauntlet I, I haven't tried it but just thinking of it just makes me think you know what i can't i can't be bothered I don't have the time to repeatedly try it. I know there's cheese ways of doing it. Maybe I will still go back to it at some point. Uh, Astro's Playroom. Oh, my God. I, I can't believe that I left this as long as I did. I should have finished this off so much sooner than I did. I believe I actually did uh, got the Platinum on this. I think it was like the 2nd or 3rd of January of, of 2024. Um, but yeah, I... Disappointed that I didn't get it originally when it well, when I first played it, when I first got my PS5, but glad I experienced it since. Cat Quest, not everybody's cup of tea, but a fun little experience. Um, and yeah, there's not really much else to say. Bug Snacks as well. I enjoyed it for the most part. It got a little bit boring and repetitive towards the end, especially going for the Platinum itself. Um, but yeah. Another one, I, I left it for years and then ended up going back to it. Uh, High on Life next, oh, what a game. I, I really, really enjoyed this game. I love first person shooters. I love comedy, funny stuff. Of course, High on Life made by the creators of Rick and Morty. It, it's, it's got that level of humor, absolutely hilarious. Well, then I played Super Crazy Rhythm Castle, so a little something about me, I love rhythm games, but I absolutely suck at them. Like, seriously, so bad. And I actually did the trial for this, and I didn't know that by doing the trial, you can earn trophies. I, I've, I thought that, you know, I could do whatever I wanted in the two-hour trial or whatever it was, and that would be that. 
<clears throat> nope. I got seven trophies. So I might have to revisit that at some point. Not for the platinum, just so that it's higher than 12%. Because I don't, to, to put it bluntly, I don't like leaving games so low anymore. But, you know, I, I do make exceptions. Final Fantasy Seven. If, if you know me uh, more than just the bomb chop name, then you'll know that Final Fantasy VII is my all-time favourite game. And I I was in I was just in that frame of mind of like, you know what? Now that I'm getting platinum trophies on a more regular basis, now I'm putting time into my gaming, now that I'm doing YouTube videos, I don't own the Final Fantasy VII Platinum. What the hell is wrong with me? So I went back to it and I got the remaining two or three trophies I need. I know I know one of them was definitely the gold chocobo and the other one was for dating Barrett um, in Gold Saucer. I, I had to use a guide because I, I didn't realise how intricate it was to actually make sure that that date happens. <clears throat> but yeah, so I got that platinum trophy as well. Then Choo Choo Charles actually made a video on this. It was... Um, surprising to say the least i didn't expect to enjoy it as much as i did but i can understand why people think it is trash like it, it's it's nothing special it but at the same time it is because it was made by a single person um i think it took me like eight hours to platinum it eight hours that i actually enjoyed uh the walking zombie ugh, walking zombie 2 should i say so i love anything to do with zombies you know, TV shows, movies, um, and games. Love anything to do with zombies. And, yeah, I, I got, I brought this, I think it was like one ninety nine on the store. Um, and I quickly realised the error of my ways. It's basically a mobile game. And there's a trophy for, I think it's, you have to dig treasure 500 times. You, you don't, like... To, to put it bluntly, it would take me hours upon hours upon hours to get that trophy because you can only dig, I think it's one or two chests per run and some runs have none. If I'm remembering it right, this obviously was a while back. Then I got Metal Helsinger. I'm going to straight up hold my hands up, you know, arrest me now, you know, call me absolutely shit, trash, whatever. I put the assisted mode on it. Like I said earlier, I suck at rhythm games. So when I started playing this, I put it on straight away because otherwise there is no way I would have ever have got at least the one trophy for always hitting the beat in a level. <clears throat> Wouldn't have done it. Uh, then we've got Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. I love Plants vs. Zombies. I think they're just so fun and quirky. The only thing that lets them down is that all three... Uh, Garden Warfare 1 and 2 and Battle for Neighborville. They're just so long and of course the, the, the servers are dying. The, there's not very many people that play it anymore. Don't get me wrong, there still are but I was finding myself playing against bots a lot so I just I, I did earn a couple of trophies but then I was like nah, let's just leave it here. <clears throat> Sorry. Frog in my throat. So then next up we've got It Takes Two. The reason why this is on 1% and 1 bronze trophy, <clears throat> to put it bluntly, one night me and my girlfriend, we decided, let's play a game together. Or rather, my girlfriend decided that. And um, yeah, I think it took us about two hours. And she wants to play, she, well, she did want to play again, but she's never offered to ask since. So yeah, it's stuck on that. Helldivers 2, so... I really enjoyed this game, absolutely loved it, got it on launch, um, because of my lack of time in being able to play games, my mates who I was going through it had like leveled up, finished it, one of them got the platinum, um, the other one isn't really bothered about platinums, but they just overplayed it, and then when I managed to jump back on, they, they was done with it, so yeah, I kind of got left behind I guess. Next up is Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. What a absolutely amazing game. I'd probably say that this is my one of my all-time favourite Platinums that I've ever earned. It's just fantastic. I mean, Like a Dragon and Yakuza, you know that you're going to be onto a winner.
but infinite wealth was just immaculate it took everything from the first like a dragon and just made it better and yeah I, I got that and i loved every minute of it dead island riptoid definitive edition um i actually went through this with uh another content creator mr leaning versus i'll pop his picture up here and i'll put his link in the uh, description if you want to check him out he made a video on it i made a video on it mine flopped his did a lot better because he's he's, he's good go and check him out seriously he's really good um but brilliant game zombies of course uh hawked this was a battle royale and like i think I, I think i played about 12 matches or 12 whatever you call them raids whatever um and i won like 10 out of the 12 and i was just like i don't know if i'm playing against children or bots i think they were real people but i could have been wrong but it, like for the platinum it just would have been a massive grind and i was like i can't be bothered um temtem obviously it's zero percent i don't know why i haven't cleared it off my account i probably should i'm not going to do it now i might do it later but I, I love pokemon i love any type of game where you can uh, catch and then train up uh, your pocket monsters i guess um i got i got it physically for i think it was two pound out of a charity shop I, I put it in played it for about three hours realized that the trophy list is very very long-winded and i was like i haven't got the time <clears throat> uh Kandagawa jet girls was the next platinum that i earned um not really much to say about it other than it's an anime that i haven't watched uh the actual gameplay itself is okay it does get very very easy after you've upgraded a few of your bits and pieces um towards the end of the platinum i was just like auto skipping all the dialogue it was just like eh, 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 and i was like getting a headache i just wanted it to be done but yeah i got that platinum then we got final fantasy 7 rebirth now i know i said final fantasy 7 is my all-time favorite game and i love rebirth the reason why i'm stopped at 65 percent is because I do not want to attempt all those mini games and potentially make myself hate the game. I know it's a very, very difficult platinum. I do believe that I could get it if I wanted to, if I wanted to put the time in. I just don't want to. I want to remember Final Fantasy VII Rebirth as the masterpiece that it is in my head. Next up, Skull and Bones, of course. The, the world's first quadruple A game, and it was trash. There were a, little, a few bits in it that was, you know, okay, but the overall game itself was just absolutely awful. Um, in Admittingly, the only reason why I actually went for this Platinum and played it as much as I did is because I was given a code by, um, by Mr. Leaning Versus, who I mentioned earlier. Otherwise, I, I probably would never have well, I didn't pay for this. If I'd have paid for this game, I'd have been absolutely disgusted with myself. Next up, we've got Pumpkin Jack. You know, it's a platformer, little hack and slash. Very reminiscent of kind of like medieval. Um, don't get me wrong, it, it, it holds its own. It's decent. It's short. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I got that one. Spyro 2. I have the footage for this. I haven't even considered making a video purely for the fact that Spyro doesn't really gain much attraction, especially not a, a, a channel my size. Um, the only reason why I recorded it in the first place was because Spyro 1 was my first ever video on YouTube. And so I thought, might as well record it. And who knows, maybe I'll record free when I eventually get to it and then maybe just do like a long video or something. Who knows? Um, 13 next, obviously like the uh, comic book style first person shooter. A again, I've got the footage for this. I just don't think I want to make a video on it. I mean, this this game, I, I actually had no issues with it when I played it. But I've heard that a lot of people have had them. And the fact that this game goes on sale for $1.99 kind of tells you everything you need to know about the game. <clears throat> 
Next, we got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Campaign Remastered. I, I just chucked it in one day. I did. I think I did the first level of the campaign, and I was just like, can't be bothered. Like, I, I think I've, I think I'm done with Call of Duties. Like, I've got Black Ops 6, which came out like a month ago now. I've hardly touched it. Like a bit of multi. Don't get me wrong, a bit of multiplayer, but I haven't even touched the campaign. And campaign is usually the first thing that I go into. So. I think my time with Call of Duty is done. Then we got Safe Park Snow Day. Obviously not as good as Fractured Butthole or Stick of Truth. But I actually enjoyed my time on this. Not the greatest game by, by any means. But I do I do believe that if you play with other people, it can be a very fun time. Uh, Zombie Army 4 Dead War. This is a game that I, I've played on and off for years now. I, I love this game. Um, I just need a team to tackle the uh, Platinum and I do believe that I may be assembling that team in the background so hopefully sometime in the near future this will be a Platinum I'll own WWE 2K24 I just fancied playing a wrestling game and admittingly I was enjoying it at first and then I was like okay let's have a look at what the Platinum uh, consists of and it was like 150 hours I believe I know there are ways to cheese some of the trophies, but I was just like, oh, I can't be bothered. Like the, the game, if if I'm gonna go for a 150 hour platinum, the game has to really grab me by the testes and fucking drag me down. But it, it didn't. Uh, Resistance Retribution. I love the Re Resistance franchise. M one of my greatest PS3 memories is battering Resistance Free. On the hardest difficulty and oh my god like i love resistance like that that franchise is just amazing this however hasn't aged well and one of the trophies was bubbed on it it took forever for them to fix it but eventually i did get it and of course it says 95 percent because there is i think one or two uh dlcs that they added much later after um I don't care about DLC. I just just give me a game, let me enjoy it, and if if I enjoy it, then I'll get the platinum. Jack and Daxter next. I stopped playing this because I actually had a notification come up on my PlayStation Five, and it was something to do with it like leaving PS Plus or my subscription was ending, something like that. It was something along those lines. Now I knew my subscription wasn't ending, but whatever whatever it was made me think like oh. If I've only got 15 minutes left, what's the point? I'm not going to get the Platinum. And when I looked earlier today, it's still on there. So your guess is as good as mine. Probably just my own stupidity. But it, it, that's one that I'm, I think I've still got it installed on my PlayStation, actually. So that might be one I go back for uh, very soon. Never Awake. I absolutely loved this game. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but I really really enjoyed this game a bullet hell you play as a, a little girl trapped inside a coma you're fighting off all the demons and like you know the bad stuff that's happened to her in her life it, it's it's decent that it, it's not a masterpiece but it's decent and i did a video on it which didn't perform too too well but because it's an unknown game i didn't expect it to do well in truth uh, then we got gris it's a beautiful uh, beautiful game but it just bored the living hell out of me. I finished it, which is why I've got the four golds, four bronzes. I, I can't be bothered to go back into it and get the platinum. The game just bored me that much. Uh, Sifu. Skill issue. Simple as. Army of Ruin. I was looking for a game where I could kind of just switch off. Something that I didn't really need to pay too much attention to. Uh, basically, it was for the days when I've got my boy. It's just me and my boy at home, um, and like you know, he he'll be playing with his toys, but his attention span is is probably the same as me. Like you know, he'll be playing, and then ten minutes later, he's like, "Oh, look, what's going on over there?" And so I have to keep my eye on him, of course. So I wanted something I could just put on and, and kind of like you know, not pay too much attention to it. <clears throat> it, Army and Ruin was that game 
and my plan was to eventually get the platinum on it but I just haven't touched it in such a long time. Uh, Senran Kagura Burst Renewal. So this one was a... There was a reason for it which has just completely escaped me but all I'll say is hack and slash girls with massive breasticles very fan servicey you beat you beat up the girl that you're fighting and providing that you meet certain um certain criteria if that's the correct word like that girl can then end up in just like a bra and pants it, it's not the kind of game that like you know if, if my missus was in the room i would not be playing it to put it bluntly although i think i did actually pop the platinum on this while she was in the room but she wasn't paying attention um Adventure Time Pirates of the Ecridian. I love Adventure Time. One of one of the funniest cartoons I've ever watched. I got this platinum. Um, yeah, it's nothing special, but it was it was a fun fun experience. Um, Skur Ritual. Now, if you don't know what this is, imagine like a cod zombies, but when I played it, at least a very buggy and messy and server shitting itself. Cod zombies. I would like to go back to this at some point, but it just that that first night playing it just put me off. The servers were awful, and yeah. Then I got the Night Witch on PS5. What can I say about this? It's like um, it's kind of like a bullet hell or Metroidvania shooter, I guess. Um. But it's an amazing game, it really is. It's one that I want to put into a video itself. But so far, all I've done is put put it into like some of my list videos. Like It's been the intro to, I think, my last two big trophy list videos. I'm, I'm just chatting pup now, but it's a really good game. Check it out, honestly. Sonic Superstars, I love Sonic. I got so far into it and then Sleeping Dogs happened. To put it bluntly, I finally got around to playing Sleeping Dogs after all of these years. I played it on PS5, which was a mistake because there was so many issues. Seriously, it tells you. It says that it won't run uh, perfectly when you put the disc in. But I persisted and I got the Platinum Trophy and I'm so gutted I didn't experience it when it originally came out absolutely fantastic game and it's a crying shame that there's not going to be a second sleeping dogs <clears throat> then i went back to outriders so outriders was a game that when it first came out i got it i think it was day one me and my brother we were playing the shit out of it and then i can't remember why but we just stopped we just stopped playing and then what nine nine well, it's not that old however many years later it was it was literally like about three four months ago i went back to it finished it off got the platinum trophy and i'm glad i did it was a very uh a funny experience then we had stray you know everybody's favorite cat game i did a video on it which is actually my worst performing video on my channel i don't know why i'm guessing i just left it too long after it came out uh, X Defiant, yeah, I, I tried it. It was okay to begin with. Got very boring very quick. Cat Quest 2, more of the same. Cat Quest, nothing special really. Then I moved on to Deadpool. So, Deadpool, I made the mistake. Or rather, it wasn't a mistake because it kind of gave me that little bit of a boost in sense of like, oh, actually, I can still game or do some harder games. So, I went through Deadpool, my first initial playthrough on the hardest difficulty, and I then, after I'd finished it, found out that I could have done it on normal or easy, and then used all my upgrades to go back through the game again. But I did it on the hardest difficulty first time round, and you, yeah. um, <laughs> Johan the Parhelion. I I don't know what I was thinking or why. I actually got this game i don't know how i found it to be honest but i enjoyed myself with it it's kind of like a, a very basic metroidvania but yeah i got the platinum on it zombie soup a top down shooter very very enjoyable like i actually 
really enjoyed this game and it's it's kind of a shame i haven't looked recently but when i got this platinum i was the 11th person to ever earn the platinum on this game there was only like 20 people who'd actually played it but i was the 11th one I, i'm actually going to check that out when, after this video um god of war <clears throat> ragnarok i platinumed the uh 2018 god of war it was just more of the same and it and I'm not going to lie, I got bored really, really quickly. It's a shame because I do want to play it, but I just got bored. Hopefully that boredom will subside and I'll actually want to play it in the future, but we'll see. Oh, oh I'm talking a lot. So Ghost Hunter's next, or Ghost Hunter. An old PS2 uh, title that was brought to PS5 through PlayStation Plus Premium. It's awful. It really is. It doesn't play very well at all. The humour is non-existent. But I started it. I thought I might as well finish it. Get the Platinum Trophy. It is a very easy Platinum Trophy in truth. Um, I think there's like two trophies that are potentially missable. But yeah. Tom Clancy's The Division 2 next. I'm missing one trophy. It's for one of the raids. Um, but there's the player base is like pretty much non-existent now absolutely loved my time with the division 2 played it originally with like a whole bunch of my mates and then ran through it again uh, more recently with mr leaning versus who i mentioned earlier um but yeah fantastic game donut county i originally thought this was shovelware um but i'm glad that i've experienced it for myself it's actually a fun little experience uh, Killing Floor 2, this was another one that I'd played so much of back in the day, but then had to like literally get like about four or five trophies, something stupid like that, for the Platinum. And then while I was at it, playing with uh, my mate as well, I thought might as well get the DLCs as well. The First Descendant, I just, nah, it, it was okay at first, but it just got very boring very quick. Necromunda Hired Gun, pretty much the same thing. I enjoyed the opening hour or two. Got very bored very quick. Crime Boss, Rock A City. Now this... I feel like because this game was multiplayer. And they kind of like... There were so many trophies that had to be done solo player. And the solo setup. Like the way that you had to like take over turfs and stuff. It was a little bit confusing and it just bored me. If it had stuck to the the multiplayer side of things i think this could have been a game that i'd have eventually got the platinum on <clears throat> uh, then i got robocop rogue city i'm not a fan of robocop never have been I, I used to think it was pretty crap as a kid i don't i don't think it's crap now like I, I can appreciate um you know the story behind it the game itself a little bit disappointing i enjoyed it don't get me wrong but i thought it could have been better uh, Stumble Guys, yeah, it's a Fall Guys uh, ripoff. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not prepared to connect my phone to it and pay real money to get this platinum, so I just can't be bothered to finish it off. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection, nostalgia, kind of reared its ugly head. I was like, I remember playing that as a kid. Oh, let's play it again. Oh yeah, now I remember. As a kid, I sucked at this game, and as an adult, I suck at the game. Uh, I then finished off Resident Evil 5. Resident Evil 5 used to be my favourite Resident Evil. Um, and I 100%ed it on Xbox way back in the day. Uh, and eventually went back to it and got the Platinum on it. Cotton Fantasy, don't get me started. I, I've took more of a dip into the Cotton franchise since. And it's, it's not for me. <clears throat> It's, it's really not for me. Uh, Brotato, very similar to what I was saying about Army of Ruin earlier on. Needed something to just, you know, blast away at on occasion, not really paying attention. It took a while, but, you know, Brotato, Platinum, let's go. And then, I don't even know if you pronounce this, Fiatrivum? Fiatrivum? Fiatrivum, final bar line. All the Final Fantasy music is just beautiful. I play this on occasion 
even like even now even though i've got the platinum trophy i just love the final fantasy music and the platinum wasn't too difficult considering it's a rhythm game uh riddled corpses yeah th this was something i played i think it was six years ago and i ended up going back to it getting the platinum now back for blood i think i've literally just got the if i click into it yeah 80 percent it is literally just the uh, nightmare runs. And even though people say that the game is a lot easier now, I still can't do it. Oh, I, need, I need somebody to run me through it, I think. It's the only way I'm going to get that platinum. Uh, I actually really enjoyed the game itself, to be honest. But yeah, one of them. Uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think this one's another one that's quite high. 81%. Um, I've got a couple of campaign like miscellaneous trophies and a couple from the uh, what's it called? Is it Exo Survival or Extinction? Um, I just I had a few attempts on it and I was just like, this is this is boring me. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands next, another one I played a lot back in the day. Went back to it, finished it off with the help of a friend. So happy days. Uh, Grand Blue. Grand Brew, Glaran, put my teeth back in, come on, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, played the story, absolutely phenomenal, loved every single second that I played of it, looked at the trophy list and was like, yeah, let's leave this here, I think I've got something like 75 hours of grinding ahead of me and I was like, nope, nope, nope nope so i moved on maybe what maybe one day i'll go back to it but for this moment in time hell to the no uncharted drake's fortune i'd never played any of the og uncharted's i played number four i don't remember much about it i remember there being a shit ton of collectibles but i'd never played the ogs so i went into uncharted one and i went into it on crushing difficulty straight off the bat and yes, I did die a lot, but I persisted and I got the Platinum Trophy. And the video for that has done nothing. It's it's done, it's done the usual. Resident Evil 6 next. I know a lot of people hate on this game for a Resident Evil, um, for a Resident Evil game, but I actually really, really enjoyed it. I originally played it on Xbox. God. I can't even remember when. I remember putting the disc in, getting to the like opening part where Leon is walking with Helena, and I was just like, "What is this crap?" And I turned it off. That that's literally all it took. Like that's how quickly I would go from game to game back in the day. Thankfully, not like that anymore. Uh, the next platinum that I earned was Turn It Boy commits tax evasion. A funky, short, little experience. Um, yeah, if if you if you don't know what this is, check it out. It's 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 pretty funny to be honest. Vampire Survivors next. Now this was sickening. When this came out, when I earned the platinum trophy, it was like 1.32% my rarest platinum trophy. And now I think it's oh it's over 40%, I think now. Like yes, it's fairly deep. It's fairly easy, but just how many people have got this platinum now? It just kind of oh, please. Um, then, then Rugrats Adventures in Game Land. It it's kind of like a remake of the old NES uh, Rugrats game. It, you get exactly what it says on the tin. Basically, it's a fun little experience, but don't expect anything special. You can like kind of. You know, jump between like new style and old style. It's a it's a decent ten hours, fifteen hours. What am I chatting about? It took me four. I'm pretty sure it took me four. I don't, I can't I can't remember anymore. But it it was very short. If you like Rugrats, then go for it. If you're not a fan, wait until it goes free. Uh, and there we see Cotton 100% on um, on 52% because on the guide. It says that like it's a one out of ten or something like that. 
2 out of 10 because of the rewind feature. They actually patched the rewind feature out of the game and the only trophies I'm missing are like the later levels on challenge mode which is where you only get like so many lives. It's, it's difficult and it's janky as hell. Then I went for One Piece Pirate Warriors 4. Absolutely amazing game, just like the other One Piece game. It really made me want to watch the anime, but I have to be strong. No, I don't have the time for thousands of episodes. Lollipop Chainsaw Repop. I, I unfortunately never played the original on PS3. Playing this, I had a blast. I had a whale of a time. Thankfully, I only had a couple of issues, but I've seen people play this and some of the issues they've faced, it's riddled. I don't know if it's fix, all fixed now, but I'm so glad I got the Platinum and didn't experience that many problems. Pal World, you all know what Pal World is. It's basically Pokemon, but with... Uh, hey, Nintendo, I didn't say that. Stop suing them. It's kind of like Pokemon. Uh... Disney Epic Mickey Rebrushed, fantastic game. I did not expect to enjoy this as much as I did, but I did. Um, Dead Rising 2 off the record. I I started playing this because I'd never played it before. I thought to myself, I'll see if I enjoy it. I did enjoy it, but not enough to go for the Platinum. But the reason why it's so high up is because I then went back in to help uh, another content creator finish it off. Um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I haven't played this game for yonks. It's because of the whole Call of Duty bullshit on PS5. I've earned a few trophies on Black Ops 6. And it's just bumped it up my list. Uh, it just looks horrendous. Uh, Crow Country. An old school horror survivor. Very reminiscent of PS1. Silent Hill and uh, Resident Evil uh, Probably not as good as those games, but it, it deserves its place on on the pedestal it, It's it's a funky game like I really enjoyed it Then I went on to Wukong Admittingly, I just fancied some sitting down and playing something that I didn't require any brain power Basically, I saw Mayor Hair Bear had done a video on this and I thought why not look look simple enough um, so yeah, I think it took me about three hours. Uh, Portal Knights, I'm currently working on that right now. N not right now, I'm making a video. Uh, but like in the background. Silent Hill 2, recently finished my first playthrough of this. I'm giving myself a little bit of time before I then go for the second playthrough, third playthrough or whatever I need to do. This is a Platinum that I do plan on getting in the near future. Absolutely fantastic game absolutely fantastic i am hoping that blooper team remake number three as well and then potentially number four remake them all do every single one of them uh tricky towers now if you don't know what this game is don't look it up don't fall victim i saw it and was like it's kind of like a tetris builder game like so you rather than tetris you know you make you make your blocks line up and they disappear this one you have to build up using tetris blocks and it looks simple but some of the trophies are horrendously difficult and as you can see i'm on 48 percent it's basically just all the really hard ones that i'm left with now uh tom clancy's rainbow six extraction not everybody's cup of tea I was slightly disappointed with it when it first came out. Went back to it a couple about a month ago. Well, actually, I actually finished this off. I think it was like a week ago, but went back to it and yeah, I got the platinum with the help of uh, Mr. Leaning Versus again, who I mentioned at the start. Um, then I got New Super Lucky's Tale. You know, it's it's kind of, it's kind of like Spyro. You know, a simple platformer. Yeah. And then I got Squirrel with a gun. I brought this game, Physical Edition, just because I like the name of it. It just looks stupid. I put it on. I was a little bit disappointed. It reminds me of Goat Simulator, but it's with a squirrel instead. Um, but still, I went through it and I got the Platinum. And I have just started Awaken Astral Blade. Um, it's like a Metroidvania. It's surprisingly more deep than I was expecting it to be. 
There isn't a guide, so I'm hoping it's going to be simplish to platinum. But to be honest, I'm enjoying it so far. Even if I don't get the platinum, at least I've experienced it. Uh, but yeah, so that is the end of the trophy list. And as I said, at the end of last year's one, I was on 40 platinums. So I've more than doubled. Admittingly, there are some platinums in there that are, you know, a few hours each. But I've also got ones like uh, Rainbow Six Extraction, um, Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, One Piece Odyssey. You know, so I, I am getting some decent Platinums in there as well as some relatively easy ones as well. Um, so yeah, so thank you very much for watching the trophy list. And who knows, maybe I'll be doing this again in a year's time. Peace out.